Welcome back to Screen Fiend and let's talk about it. Quentin Tarantino, eh, nope, Christopher Nolan <laughs> has returned with his extra out of this world, what everybody's called Inception Part 2. <laughs> Christopher Nolan has always made these movies that make you think. Inception is one of those movies and one of those films that take you right back into the same umbrella. Like, they take you to a different realm of reality. You have to open your mind and listen and really follow the story now tenet opens up with the scene like i tell you christopher nolan loves to show you uh normally the beginning of a film like at least the first 10 minutes so i saw the first 10 minutes months ago and it was incredible and they start you off the same way. You go right into it. You don't know what's going on. You know he works from some type of military service and some military training that he has, and he's with a team. And the whole opera house, you know, that scene is just incredible. And what he finds out is something that he's seen that just really didn't make a lot of sense to him. Um, I kind of predicted a little bit what was going on just because I've seen stuff similar from watching a lot of movies where this would be the case. You know, you kind of have seen some of this stuff before. But this was a little different. Tenet involves... A frontward and backward situation. Certain materials can be manipulated as to going backwards to where you would think it's in two different realities. In one re reality, it's going backwards. It's in a parallel universe, basically, where things are moving backwards, like time. So instead of you... Instead of, you know, like you could pick things up in your hand as it goes in reverse. And you can almost use your instincts to guide it. It also has different property rules. Because in their universe, on that side of the paradox of the, of the universe, it's like you dropped the item that was in your hand. You didn't just pick it up out of midair. So, these materials, and this thing is called, I guess they just named it Tenet, or whatever they wanted to name this phenomena, but trying to find out who's selling the material, you know, who's the buyer, all of these things is going on in this, uh, con, you know, this mission this convert mission that's inside of a mission and there's so many missions inside of a mission that if you reach down for popcorn and you look up you will be confused there's a lot of dialogue there's a lot of physics it's a lot of things trying to be ex explained and you will be so confused with this movie now This movie, to me, was pretty much basically explained. Um, all the way to it got to a certain point where the last 30 minutes of the movie, I'm saying that it was so chaotic and all these things that's going on and transpiring, you really are trying to figure out what's going on as far as trying to follow the story of like where you are and you could get lost in the sauce in other words <laughs> dealing with that situation you're like i'm lost in the sauce on this i now did this just happen did that just happen did it when did this happen you are a little confused 
you know, and I had to catch up. You know, I'm like, okay, okay, all right, all right, I caught up. But you could get lost in this movie, especially in the last 30 minutes. You could definitely get lost. And it's just so much going on that you can't really comprehend what exactly is happening. And you're confused moving forward because you don't know, like, who hired whom, who's, you're like, who's writing the checks you know like where where does this character actually live what's going on here <laughs> so you'll be kind of lost and a lot of people had questions when it was over you know um i won't tell the ending or anything like that but it's very engaging uh, great shots too uh christopher nolan you know he's really good at locations so a lot of these scenes that were shot was just amazing. But you, you always get that gritty feel of a Christopher Nolan, you know, Dark Knight Rises type of film. You know, it kind of reminds you a little bit of Dark Knight Rises, certain elements of it. Um, for me... I give it three stars out of four. I did feel like it was a uh, some scenes that probably should have been edited out, but I I don't think they possibly could edit it out. But going back watching the film that I've seen it in its totality, a lot of the scenes could have been edited out of this that weren't even necessary. They could have just cut about at least twenty minutes out of it. Uh, and kind of compiled it. I think it would have compiled a lot better, but it's hard to do a film like this because you think you cut something out, you probably have ruined the entire film just by doing it. But, yeah, the performance by... Uh, uh, everybody in the film was just outstanding. You know, I know everybody's looking at... You know, Denzel Washington's son is the the new face, you know, that's going to be Hollywood's biggest star. And he probably will be. He's, he's got great, um, he's got great instincts, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what he brings in his uh, next performances. You know, a lot of people want to know, okay, how's he going to do in these action roles? But we'll see. You know, things always change and turn back around, you know. One minute they're this, then the next minute they turn around, they're that. So you just got to, you kind of like got to weed it out a little bit, you know. But it, it, it'll get there. Just got to trust the system a little bit. So, are you going to see Tenet? Let me know. Uh, Robert Patterson was great. Like I told you, all the actors were great in this film. Uh, there was no scene in the movie that I, I really didn't think the actors, uh, even the guy who is quote-unquote the villain. You know, I mean... It's just going to be a lot of questions at the end. It's going to be a lot of questions at the end. So a lot of you are going to do that. So don't forget, if you're new here to Screen Fiend, don't forget to subscribe. We're back active now. The movie theaters are back open, so you know we back cracking. 100 miles an hour, we don't stop. We keep it moving. <laughs> so... Absolutely. We want everybody to enjoy this, and definitely uh, you could support the Cash App, or you could hit up you guys. Um, I think here we have it where you can do the Super Chat thing that they got here. But if not, just hit the Cash App up. Carcino's the name on the Cash App. Go see Tenant and see it twice. <laughs> see it thrice. <laughs> Because you, you're going to be confused. The whole world is going to be confused watching the movie. So, 
You definitely want to be in the loop and don't want to get left behind. And I don't want to see anybody get left behind. So tell me what you thought of it after you watched it in the comment section. I'm out.